What comes out of darkness is light. What comes out of chaos is a new meaning. The New York City blackout was a 25-hour collapse in our modern civilization. The nation's most influential city was powerless. 25 hours without electricity. What does that do to a society? Big city of dreams To get by cats doing plenty of things It's an honest hustle This ain't America, is it? I came to New York Just a few days before New York City blackout And I was so impressed With the size With the immense energy That New York had In terms of creativity And overall as a major force As the largest city in the United States How magnificent it was the 1977 blackout felt like a violent jackhammer on society. Thousands of arrests, hundreds of stores looted, and then the countless pointless fires. I was born on July 4, 1961, in Tabriz, Iran. My father, Dr. Mohammad Shafi Amin, was a professor and chair of surgery founding dean of the medical school in Tabriz and later on chancellor of the university. My mother, Mrs. Nahid Loghman Atam Amin, was educated in Sorbonne after World War II, followed by postgraduate studies at Cambridge University. I often accompanied my parents to local villages where they volunteered, and I saw firsthand how families scratched out substance living, but electricity reach those villages. And I'm delighted to see that that transformative power that electricity had touched so many lives in a positive way. On that Wednesday night, July 13th, 1977, it was a very hot and humid day and humid night in New York City. When the blackout happened, my dad and I, we were in an elevator in Abbey Victoria Hotel. When the electricity went out, we had no idea what had happened. We just waited but it was so dark. There is no light, no emergency light kicked in. We were stuck halfway between floors. So the two of us started pulling the doors apart. We managed to pry the door open. People on the other side saw us and they helped us open the, the elevator. When we came out, it was uncertain. I mean, you're in a very uncertain situation. We came down, came out of the main entrance and walked toward Madison Square Garden. You could see a little bit of the residues of the chaos. We had never seen anything like that before. As we were walking back, it sunk in that this is serious. The next morning, we woke up. It was a bright day. You could almost feel this weight is about to be lifted. This darkness is about to go away. You could see also on the 14th, people helping each other, people trying to be more kind and civilized and understanding of other suffering. So I saw human beings both at their worst and at their best in the same 24 hours. And the lessons of that day um, has driven me. So on one part of the world, I saw villages without electricity, people toiling, trying to survive, then on this side of the world, I saw the other extreme, the largest city I'd ever seen in peril because of collapse of this most essential infrastructure that we often take for granted. In those 25 hours, I saw a system that was broken. I saw a system that needed to be saved. And that system was about human condition. You see humanity at its best often during crises. And I'm heartened when I know and I've seen what we can do together with judicious use of technologies to improve human condition. It has been almost 40 years since that summer. We all know that power grid keeps society away from state of anarchy. That is a very powerful realization about what humanity depends on and often takes for granted. 
we depend on reliable electricity even more so today. And I wonder if we could behave any differently than that night.